Hey, it's Graham here at Crashtron, and today I'm going to show you how to secure your Microsoft Teams Room address book. So let's imagine you have your device in a public space and you don't want someone to walk in and start tapping through the directory. So what we can do is use an address book policy. I've done this with Microsoft Teams phones, but the same policy works for Microsoft Teams Room. So let's check out the video and we'll see how it's done. Here I have a Microsoft Teams room, and this is called Interview Room 01. Now, in my previous settings for a common area phone, I use this account just to show you how it can be utilized uh, in a normal environment, in a normal account, but with no calendar. Hence why we see cannot fetch calendar on top. So, if I was to click on New Meeting here, and I look someone up, so if I look up for, let's say my son, Leo Walsh, he's in my tenant, I can see that name. And then let's look up my other son, Jake, I can see that he's here as well in the tenant. So I can easily walk up to a device, click and be able to dial someone. Now, let's imagine you want to put this Microsoft Teams room in a secure environment and not allow people to go and look up that directory or just use that click to join experience for that Microsoft Teams meeting, the direct guest join access for WebEx and Zoom, or even a Skype for business meeting. They all have a single click to join experience. So what we can do is actually use an address book policy. And what this will allow us to do is to only look up certain address books. So we basically divide our tenant or we put a user into a different category so it can only look up maybe other rooms or whoever is in that address book policy. So what we can do is let's switch to another Microsoft Teams room now. So this is going to be interview room number two. And here we are. We're in interview room number two. Now, as you can see, this is signed in nice and happily now. I don't have any errors. So what I can do is click on new meeting. And now, if I look for Leo, I can't find him. And then if I look for Jake, oh, I can't find him. However, if I look for myself, I can find myself because I'm in this policy area. So, just goes to show, I can only look up certain people that are in this address book. Uh, let's call it subdivision. Uh, how I've divided my tenant now, uh, used exchange policies, and I'll put a link in the description on how you can do this. So this will work for Microsoft Teams phones, whether they uh, are the, you know, the physical devices, or even your desktop plan. It's going to use this policy everywhere within your Microsoft Teams. So just giving you that nice granular control on how you can only invite certain areas. And again, you'll have that single click to join experience, and what we can do is invite a device to a meeting room. So this uh, meeting room here, this will not receive that click to join because of the account and why I've set it up and there's no uh, calendar behind it. But this guy here, interview room number two, I've now limited the address book, who I can search, but I can then click to join meetings. So this is in a different tenant. So obviously I can be put in the lobby. And again, all these policies can be put in place to secure it, uh, even if you're inside the tenant. So only the host gets into the meeting straight away. Everyone else can then be in the lobby. So if you're looking to secure your Microsoft Teams meetings, this is a great way to do it. So there we go. That's how we do an address book policy to make the device secure. So it's locked in its own container. Very, very simple. So. Thanks for watching. Any questions, let me know.